An anti-gang activist who was once a gang member himself is on trial for attempted murder. Terrence Roberts' case is getting a lot of attention before the 2013 shooting. He spent eight years trying to clean up Denver's Park Hill community. 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski was in the courtroom today, and Jen, the victim, refused to testify. And Hassan Jones told the judge he didn't want to work with the people trying to put him in jail. Jones is already locked up and charged with another crime. Terrence Roberts is accused of shooting Jones, leaving him in a wheelchair. Roberts was in court today taking notes as both sides gave their opening arguments. He's one of Denver's most well known community activists. Prosecutors showed the jury Robert shot well known gang member Hassan Jones as he was turning to run away. They claimed Jones was not armed. However, the defense argued the Park Hill Bloods were there to kill Roberts, and this was self defense. You can hear that Mr. Jones comes out, calls him a snitch and a in front of everybody. Doing that in front of other people, you're going to learn in gang language, is essentially telling him. You're free to be killed. Witnesses will tell you that Terrence Roberts stands over Hassan Jones, who is lying on the ground, having been shot, stands over him and shoots him two more times. Roberts faces life in prison. As for Jones refusing to testify, the judge ruled him in contempt of court and sentenced him to six months in jail. And Thanks, Jen. And after the shooting, Jones got into some trouble himself. He's currently being held in the Arapahoe County Jail. He's been charged with felony child abuse causing death. A two-year-old was killed in August of 2014 in Aurora. She was his girlfriend's daughter.